Here I am, a hundred yards from the top of Mount Everest. Yet there's a part of me that can't wait to end this silly vacation and get back to work where the real challenges await. <laughs> Shouldn't you take your age into consideration, sir? After all, you're 82 years old. My 82? These numbers mean nothing to me. My journey through life has just begun. <laughs> sir! Sir! Who to tell you the storm's getting worse? Very, very bad. We must abandon our ascent and proceed down the mountain immediately. We're so very close to the top, Mr. Puppy Jacket Man. <laughs> I'm heading down now, sir. I advise you to do the same. All right, so be it. See you at the staff meeting on Monday. And I'll bring the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> there once again the sad footage we've been watching all day. A beloved visionary who turned a single radio station into a global media empire, Preston Blake, dead at 82. More after this. Watching the Blake Broadcasting Network. The stock of Blake Media, the parent company of this network, plunged this morning on the news of Blake's death. It bounced back after a statement by Blake's longtime number two, Chuck Cedar. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't save Preston Blake from becoming a human popsicle. And sources indicate that Blake, who was single and had no children, did not leave a will. So who inherits Blake's 49% stake in the company's stock valued at $40 billion? We'll discuss that with people close to Preston Blake, including his longtime barber, on tomorrow's Inside Access. Until then, I'm Matt McGrath.